today we're going to talk about mental illness mental illness is a condition that affects person's thinking feeling or mood yani ni ugonjwa wa akili ambao una athiri ile thinking yako vile unavyofikiria na vile unavyo 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 hisi mhm na to an extent ambao unashindwa kufanya kazi na unashindwa kupata any relationship sio relationship peke yake lakini kuongea hata kuongea na watu wengine unashindwa kwa sababu ya hiyo mental illness na kila mtu anaathiri inaathiri tofauti na sababu za mental illness ni nyingi sana kuna sababu za kisaikolojia sorry sababu za kisaikolojia na sababu za ba- kibiolojia na pia m- kimazingira biological factors zinakuwa genetic reasons m- diseases general diseases ambazo zinaweza kupelekea mental illness kama hata malaria tu ya kawaida hata ukopata kuwa yani ugonjwa tu wowote na kama hivyo hivyo tunavyo tulivyo tunavyosema ugonjwa wowote mtu akipata unakuwa uko pamoja na mental illness kwa sababu ukishapata ugonjwa unapata stress kwa hiyo lazima hivyo viko pamoja pia uh, injury yoyote ya akili au ukapata ajali ya bodaboda boda, unaweza kupata mental illness kwa sababu brain yako inakuwa affected na pia kuna diseases za neurotransmitter those zinakuwa affected zile neurotransmitter unaweza kupata mental illness substance abuse ambayo ndio kitu ambacho inaffect sana Tanzania sio Tanzania peke yake dunia nzima especially uh, places ambazo ziko westernized maana wanatumia kilevi sana na mtu anakuwa na stress zingine akipata zile stress anafikiria kwenda kunywa pombe sasa na stress zinaongezeka kwa hiyo na pombe pia inaongezeka to an extent mpaka anashindwa kupata control hiyo pia inaweza kuleta si substance yani si alcohol peke yake hata dawa zingine kama kuna dawa inaitwa atan hiyo dawa Uh, ni dawa inatumika kwa watu wenye mental illness lakini kuna watu na abuse wanatumia for their own purposes wengine wanaona kuna zile dawa ambazo zinafanya mood badilike azidi kusikia raha hizo dawa zinaweza kupelekea pia uh, uh, mental illness mm-hmm. pia life experiences, life events, emotional stresses, umefiwa na baba, umefiwa na mama, umefiwa na mtoto wako. Zote hizo zinaweza kuleta au biashara yako ikaungua. Hizo zote zinaweza kuleta mental illness. Mm-hmm. na childhood experiences, ukao unapigwa, unakuwa abused, poor parenting, abuse and neglect. Kama kuna wale watu ambao waki waki mtoto akifanya akifanya mistake badala ya kumwambia sababu ana yani badala ya kuongea naye kwanza anampiga kimeweza kumpiga anamfungia chumbani hiyo yote inaleta mental illness inaweza kuleta mental illness pia relationships kuna relationships zinaitwa toxic relationships ambao inaleta yani kama unachoka unachoka kurudia kitu kimoja mara, mara nyingi kama vile nenye relationship yao hamko stable inaweza kuleta mental mental diseases social expectations na esteem for example kuna kuna labda wazazi wako wana ku expect wewe ufanye bidii sana uwe na labda kama vile wazazi wengi wanataka utoe faulu kwa bidii sana kuna wengine uh, hata ha, ha, hajitahidi kumsaidia mtoto kufaulu lakini kila sana ndo kitu anachoongelea nazo pia ni stress kama wazazi wako wanategemea wewe utaoa ukifika kiwango fulani kwa miaka au yani life expectation watu wana expect ufanye hivi ndio hiyo inaitwa social expectations pia poverty poverty ni kitu kikubwa sana in effect sema sema kila mtu ana obviously ana mental illness kila mtu obviously ana mental illness ila 
to an extent watu wengi wanaweza ku control ile 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 kitu ambao wanao ile problem ambao wanao wana control kama for example nimefiwa nina unyonge fulani i'm sad lakini nitajitahidi nitafika kazini kwa to that extent i have those problems lakini i have reached kazini kwa nimeshafika kazini na nimefanya kazi yangu vizuri kwa hapo ndo inakuwa sio disease tena sio mental disease sio mental illness lakini wote we have some sort of mental problem anxiety disorder anxiety disorder ni shida ya wasiwasi okay shida ya wasiwasi ambayo inakufanya unapata wasiwasi to an extent una body yako inayo ina respond kwa hiyo 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 wasiwasi unakuwa una sweat una moyo wako unaenda haraka mpaka to an extent unaweza hata ujikojolee au uzimie hiyo ni ni anxiety disorder na ndani ya anxiety disorder kuna ma, ma, ma magonjwa mengi kama generalized anxiety panic disorder uh, social, social anxiety disorder na phobias uh, panic disorder uh, muda mwingi inakuwa ni, ni inafanyika watu wengi au ameambiwa aende akaongee mbele za watu lakini ikabidi arudi aende kwanza sichooni aoshe uso maana anasikia joto sana ndio yeye anikuambia anapata sweating ana sweat to an extent anashindwa kufanya kazi yake ambayo anataka kufanya hiyo ndio ana panic ndio hiyo panic disorder na wote tuna some sort of panic disorder kila mtu anakuwa nervous lakini kwenye kiwango mpaka wewe unashindwa kufanya kazi ndio tuna tunabadilisha tuna, tunaita ugonjwa wa akili lakini kila mtu ana panic kila mtu kuna extent anashindwa ana, ana, anapata ile wasiwasi mm-hmm. vitu kama hivyo na kuna mood disorders mood disorders mara leo unajisikia very 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 happy mara unajisikia very 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 sad sangine bila sababu mm, bila sababu mara unajisikia very very low na hiyo mmoja hapo ya hilo yani ndani ya hilo kundi mmoja hapo ma mm, wao wao gonjwa ni depression kuna nyingine inaitwa bipolar disorder ambayo depression huwa muda mwingi unakuwa mnyonge sana lakini bipolar disorder unakuwa na vitu vyote viwili mara ndio maana inaitwa bi bipolar yani vitu viwili pole mbili mara una furaha sana mara una huzuni sana okay na mood disorders mostly zinafuata wanawake it has to do with hormone of course most is na nafuta wanawake mm. na psychotic disorders pia kuna kula kuna kuwa na psychotic disorders ambazo kama most of the times zinakuwa inherited kama schizophrenia is an example of a psychotic psychotic disorder alafu zinakuwa na two most common symptom ambayo niliyosema hal, hallucinations na delusional hallucinations ni kama vile umeona tuko chumbani tuko watu wawili tu na watu wawili lakini wewe ukamuona mamako anapita hapo na wakati mamako ulimwacha jikoni au ukaona ndege anapita ndege ambao anapatikana au ukaona simba eh uko 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 jikoni nyumbani kwako ukaona simba anapita hiyo ni hallucination inaweza kuwa ni unaona inaweza kuwa visual hallucination au inaweza kuwa audio hallucination amba unasikia unasikia kitu ambacho hakipo au watu wengine hawakisikii mm-hmm. na pia kuna ile inaitwa delusional disorder sorry not delusional disorder your delusional symptom ambayo unaona kitu ambacho hakipo na haki exist duniani kabisa kama ukaona for example uh, dragon au ukaona Yaani zile animals ambazo tunaziona tu kwenye TV kwenye kwenye movies ambazo hazipo duniani kabisa. Kuna mwingine anakuambia nina microchip na nyasikio na ongea na aliens. Alien fly amekuja ameniona tumeongea tukafanya mpango wa kwenda uh, Mars. Hiyo yote ni psychotic disorder. 
yani yani hiyo aliens ndio hivyo inamaanisha mizimu mizimu right mm-hmm. then mm, kuna eating disorders eating disorders in involve extreme emotions extreme emotions attitude anakuwa ana tabia mbaya mara au ana hasira hovyo au ana furaha sana lakini yote ina involve chakula okay ina involve chakula sana ina involve uzito ule mwanamke kama, kama ni mwanamke kama mwanamke kuna muda anajiona yeye mnene sana kwa anafanya bidii kupungua ule uzito akila chakula baadaye anaenda anachukua kijiti anaingiza kooni mpaka atapiga kila chakula kila siku anafanya hivyo mpaka anaisha huo ugonjwa unaitwa bulemia mhm bulemia nervosa na kuna ugonjwa mwingine pia unaitwa anorexia nervosa zote hizo zina involve mm, zinaziko kwenye fungu la eating disorders na, na zinapelekea mtu kuisha mwili kabisa na kisha mwili of course mtu atatembea wapi hamna atakuwa iko nyumbani tu na hiyo ndio hivyo tunavyosema mental illness kitu kinachokufanya wewe ushindwe kuendelea na maisha yako ya kawaida vile nilivyosema makazi yote yapate kuwa na mtu ambao ambao anahusika kwa psychology katika makazi yote yani kupata kuongea na kila mtu mwenye kufanya kazi pale na kujua anapata matizo gani yani yenye yani kumwathiri yenye yani kumpa stress na kuwasaidia wale watu kupunguza stress kama ni kuongeza mishahara ongezeni mishahara vile nini nasaidia ndio ndio hivyo nilivyosema causes mmoja hapo ni poverty umaskini aha kitu kingine kupata nini um, early help yani kukipata matatizo ukahisi kwamba sijisikii vizuri kiakili fanya bidii uone daktari wa akili ugonjwa wa akili sio aibu ni kitu cha kawaida tu na kinatibika kirahisi tena kwa fanya bidii upate upate tiba pia kitu kingine ambacho kinachosaidia mtu kuepuka na magonjwa kama hayo ni kuwa na familia sana sana sisi wa Afrika tuna mambo ya kifamilia sana ukifiwa watu wanakuja karibu yako wanakusaidia hiyo ndio inaoleta sana wa Afrika hawapati hizo hizo psychological disorders compared na wa, wa Uingereza